everyone. Now for today uh, is our last day of two syllable words. Um, but now we can do two syllable words. They will be popping up all the time when we do new sounds and stuff. Okay, now we're experts on this. So for our last day, I thought I'd put in some really tricky ones with lots and lots of letters. So this one has got seven letters, seven sounds, and it is a fun word because it's the word sand pit. Sand pit. So what's the first syllable we're going to spell? Sand. That's right, sand. Okay, so what do we need for our sand? Make sure you're saying it so you can hear the sounds as well. Sand. Oh, I can hear some people saying this. Let me just check that. Sad. Sad. No, that's sad. We don't want sad. Sand. Yes, let's put that mm in there. And then the duh. Okay, let's say the, say the sounds and read the syllable. Sand. Sand. Excellent. Let's just move that up a bit. Right, and then we want to use these letters for the pit part. So what do we need first? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's quite an easy one, isn't it? Okay, let's say that one. Pit. Pit. So here we have sand. And here we have pit. And when we put them together, we get sand pit. Good. Okay, let's mix them up a bit. And then you tell me what to write. Sand. P it. Sand pit. Fantastic. Right, your turn. So do one syllable at a time. Don't try and do everything. Think about sand. What you can hear in that. And then think about the pit part. Because it's one word, you don't need a finger space. What do we think? Are we about there? One, two, three. Show me your sand pits. Okay, good work. I think most of the puzzle are the right way around and the does as well. Good work, everybody. Okay. One. Here comes the next one. They're all falling on the floor. That's no help, is it? Oh dear. See, too many letters makes it tricky to hold them. Right. Okay. Because you lot are getting so clever. I need too too many things. Have look at this. It's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sounds. But because we've got this, we've actually got eight letters this time. I know. Okay, so this is, because we've been talking about views this week, um, this word is cliff top. So you know cliff is that steep sort of hill at the side of the sea. So if you're on the top looking down at the sea, looking at all the boats and the fish and things, then you would be on the cliff top. So let's have a look at cliff. Cliff. That's it. What's going next? Cliff. Oh, listen, it's not the ear. Cliff. Yeah, we need the all. Cliff. And then I'll double. Okay, let's say the sounds and read the syllable. Cliff. Cliff. Yep, yeah, sounds good. And then top. Now, top should be pretty easy. So tell me all the sounds in the. Come on, straight off. Yep, well done. T op. Yes. Let's check it just in case. T op. Top. Fantastic. So we've got cliff top. And now we've got cliff top. Okay, let's fix that one up a bit. And tell me what to write. Cliff top. Your turn. 
Oh. I'm just going to type that down so you can't see it. <laughs> okay. A bit longer because it's quite a long word. Okay, hang on then. What about now? One, two, three. Show me your cliff tops. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's do some secret words. Are you ready? Now, this secret word is made up of two tricky bricks. Okay, so you shouldn't need to. See. In fact, one part you can't say the sounds because it's a tricky brick. So let's have a look at this. So look at that syllable. What's that tricky brick? That should be really quick. And what's that tricky brick? So if that's that and that's that, what's the word? <laughs> that's right. We've got in and we've got to. So this is the word into. I went into the shed to look for a ladder. I put cheese into my sandwich. Very tasty it was too. Okay, well done. All right. Now this one you will have to say the sounds. It's a long one. Are you ready? So I can do the sounds for this syllable. And do the sounds for this syllable. And then put them together. And what do we get? Let's do it all together. And hand. Yep, hand. Bag. Handbag. Handbag. Yes, handbag. Well done, everyone. Okay. Now, my challenge today, I've drawn you a picture. It's okay. And I have written how many letters there are. And I've put the line to help you know where the syllables are. So here we go. So this is a picture of a bird. Anybody know what bird it is? It's the bird actually whose name was on the fridge the other day. That's right, it's a robin. So I've written all the set of the spaces here. Now I've put the line. When you write it, you won't need the line. The line's just to help you know where the syllables are. So this is a robin. But I'm not going to give you the letters. I want you to do it all by yourself. And make sure it's a robin and not a rodin. Okay. Because Rodan was, a, I think he was a sculptor. We don't want him. We want the bird. So I look forward to seeing them. And don't forget, if you send me your answer, you get a house point. 